Welcome to your Math 30-1 Online Anytime Moodle course page. This is where you'll find all your course resources to help you successfully complete the Math 30-1 course. When you log into Moodle and you click that Math 3301 link, this is the page you'll be brought to. Using a desktop or laptop computer and you're having your window fully maximized, you'll see these information blocks on the right hand side. They contain important information to frequently asked questions, such as how to contact your instructors. Contacting us, the best way to reach us is through email at math30-1onlineteam at norquest.ca. It's also hyperlinked for easy access to the email. If you logged on using a tablet or a phone, these information blocks are still accessible. They're just at the bottom of the web page, so you'll have to scroll to the very bottom to find them. On the left hand side of my page, you'll see the navigation menu is open. The navigation menu is a quick, easy way to jump to different parts of the, of the course. It also has a link taking you straight to the gradebook, so you can see what your current grade is as you're working through the course. For now, I'm just going to close this menu by clicking on the menu button in the upper left hand corner. So you can always access it at the top of the page by clicking that button. In the center part of the course is where, of the web page, is where you're going to find most of your course material. At the top page is where you're going to find some general announcements, such as welcoming all students. This is an open entry, open exit course, which means we've got students joining at any point in the term and students are finishing up at any point in the term. Some important information in this little welcome is that you do have tutorial services available to, uh, to you as an online student. You can access the drop-in tutorial using the link here or by accessing through the Tutorial Center's Moodle page link here. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. and they do online tutoring as well. You can at, definitely get help from instructors, but you can also access that tutorial service as well. We don't have any regular class times. This is a self-paced course, so you're working on the material independently at your own pace. However, if you do need to meet with an instructor to get some help on a certain lesson or you've got questions on some concepts or the assignment, you can definitely set up an appointment with, a, with an instructor and we'll meet you here in the virtual classroom. This virtual classroom will open up Blackboard Collaborate and you'll find that there'll be two sessions in here. You've got the tutorial room and that's where you'll meet with an instructor for tutorial help on assignments, lessons, concepts, but we also have an exam room. Both the midterm and the final exam are proctored exams. So what that means is that they are supervised online with you as you write. And you'll have to schedule those exams with a instructor. When it comes to your schedule, when do I write exams? When do, uh, when do I submit assignments? Well, there is no set due dates for any assignments or exams. However, we do recommend following a schedule. In your welcome email, we would have sent a recommended schedule using your course start date and course end date, but you can go in there and adjust for your own personal dates that you want to do. So for instance, if I want to end at, by June 30th, it'll suggest a timeline so that I'm writing my final exam on June 30th and when I should be completing each of my unit lessons and when I should write the exams. Again, these are guidelines to help me keep track to meet my goal of finishing my course by the end date that I want to finish. The only hard due date for you is that all your unit assignments, unit exams, midterm and final exam have to be completed before your course end date. That's the only hard date that there is. There's also some introductory information at the start of the page here. Uh, the start book's got some general overview over the course. You've got your course outline, and then you've got the formula sheet. Highly recommend you print off that formula sheet as you will be using it for every assignment, every exam uh, in the course. And you'll probably want that accessible as you work through the lessons as well. The bottom part here, these gray rectangles, these are our sections. 
each of these sections has information related to the topic that's listed there. So in the introduction and in course resources, this is where you'll get some tips on how to be successful as an online student. You've got the whole digital copy of the workbook. I strongly recommend though, if you're planning on printing all the lessons for each unit, it would be more economical to purchase the workbook versus trying to print it all out. However, if you're comfortable using just a digital version of your workbook and working on loose leaf, then that's totally fine. You also will find some the solution manual there, uh, and there's also a link to self-test using the Alberta Online Exam Bank uh, there as well. Underneath here is where you're going to find the bulk of your course content. Each unit is set up very similar. They'll start off with a little bit of an introduction here of what the learning outcomes are. Sometimes there's even a unit map to have guidelines of instructions of, hey, here's the direction you wanna go through. Most of the units will have a pretest and it's optional, it's not for marks, but what the pretest does do is just to see are there any gaps in your knowledge before you attempt the main lesson content. Especially if it's been a while since you've done math, uh, you might have some gaps. And so if you score less than 75% on those pretests, we do recommend that you do the review material that we do provide before each lesson. And sometimes, like in the case of the first unit, we have a separate little lesson here set up on just functions review, um, especially if you're not familiar with terms like domain, range, um, function notation, strongly recommend going through that lesson before going to the main lesson part. Now you'll find your unit main lessons in these little guys here where I'll say unit name lessons. Right now we're in the process of updating our website and so we've got two formats going on with the lessons. So there's the new and then there is the one that doesn't have the new on there. They both contain the same amount of information, just the format is a little bit different. Pick which format you prefer and that's the lesson style that you want to use. You do not have to do both, just pick one of these. If I go into the lessons new, the format is a little bit different. Because I've been in there before, it asked me whether or not I want to go to the last page I was on. If I say no, it'll take you to the main page. Now the main page lets you know how many lessons are within this lesson so that you can keep track of, okay, how much do I have to do for this unit before I'm ready to write that assignment and exam. So in this first unit, I've got eight lessons. Now to get to the different lessons, I've got buttons on the bottom here that can take me to each lesson. And when I go to the lesson page, it tells me what those learning outcomes are going to be. There's some review material. Again, the review material is optional. We want you to spend bulk of your time more on the enhanced workbook. However, if you go into the enhanced workbook and you're like, hey, I'm lost, go check out that review material because that might fill in some of those blanks and those gaps that you have in your knowledge. When you click on that lesson, it's going to open up a PDF version of that workbook lesson. Now, initially, it may look exactly identical. However, this enhanced one has links built in. Now, sometimes the links for some of the investigations are these gold little guys. What those gold little guys do will take you to the seat teacher solution version. And you'll find that at the assignment parts and sometimes for the investigations. You can also use this little blue button here, the arrow, to take you back to where you were. If I go through, when I get to the class examples, where you're going to find your videos is you're watching out for these little blue video buttons. These blue video buttons are where you're going to get a video of an instructor going through those examples and explaining the questions as they go through the, con the concepts. Sometimes that video will be for just one class example. This particular one is for the, all four class examples on this page. And when you click on it, it will open up a YouTube video of an instructor going through those questions. Now to get back to our PDF lesson, just use the back arrow on your, on your browser and I'll bring you back there to the main page again. And you'll just have to go back to the page of where you left off and go through. Now, when you are working through the assignments in the workbook, 
These workbook assignments are for practice. Do as many as you need to to feel comfortable with that lesson's content. Um, if you get stuck, you can definitely check out what the worked out solution is by clicking on that solution button there. You can also email an instructor and one of us can respond and help you go through some of those questions if you're really struggling with them. But these are not submitted for marks. These are just for your practice. When you're done a lesson, you can use the go to next button, next lesson button to take you to the next lesson. Or you can also use the lesson menu buttons over on here. Strongly recommend follow those lessons in the order that they appear as they are, they tend to build on each other. Now to get back to my unit, I want to get out of this lesson. I'm done for this today. Then I can just use the uh, cookie crumb uh, menu buttons here and I'm just going to click on this unit one functions and transformation to get me back to my unit one section. I could have also used my navigation menu and used that as well. Underneath the lessons is where you're going to find your assignment. This is what's going to be submitted for marks. You'll have directions in here. The assignment is a PDF. When you complete the assignment you're going to either print it and then submit, um, submit it in here by a copy of your file, of whether you've scanned in your file or you've taken some pictures that convert to PDF scanned in, or maybe you used a digital uh, PDF annotator. Either way, this is where you're going to be submitting your assignment for marks. When it comes to your uh, exams, we do have practice exams on that main page that you can work on. If there's questions in there that were like, hey, they're not really good that are from the workbook, we do have little notes saying that, hey, it's not really applicable. We also have a self-test that you can go um, test your knowledge, some multiple choice numerical response. Uh, that you can do. Again, it's not for marks, it's just there to help uh, you prepare for the exam. The unit exams are for marks and they are open book and unproctored. So what that means is that you can have your books and your notes available and you can write it at any time. You don't need to arrange with an instructor to write these exams, they're not supervised. With that said, they are timed exams. So even though they're open book, you do, will, you do need to have a strong knowledge of the unit to be able to finish the exam in time. Each unit follows that same layout. So unit two, I've got the learning outcomes course map, I've got a pretest. There's some review in the lessons there. Again, I've got the new version and the old one. Pick which one you want to look at. You've got your assignment, self-test, unit two exam. If you want to get back to the top of the page, you can use this little arrow here. I'm going to go to the main page again. That's the general overview of the course. Welcome to Math 30-1. We look forward to working with you. And please don't be shy. Reach out to us if you do have any questions.